now, um, hello there, it's Abdullah here. I'm one of the doctors here. Uh, can I please start by confirming your name and date of birth? Uh, yes, it's uh, Mr. Saad. Date of birth is 9th of October 1992. Okay, Mr. Saad. And how would you like me to call you? Mr. Saad is fine? Yes, that's fine. Please. Okay. That's fine. Um, OK, uh, so can I please start? I, I understand that you're here for um, your pre-operative assessment, but can I just start by what's your expectation from today's visit? Oh, I just want to make sure I am safe to undergo the surgery that has been planned for me, you know, since I have been suffering from a lot of diseases and I'm not quite sure that okay. I'm fit and well, well enough for the surgery. OK, that's fine. So that's that's really reassuring to me. Um, we, we're going to start by asking lots of questions about why um, you um, I mean about your pain and also your general health and we'll reach a plan at the end uh, of what needs to happen before your surgery. All right. So can you can I please start? Are you complaining of any hip pain at all? Uh, yes, I've been having uh, hip pain for the past two years. OK, two years. Yes. OK. Fine and and so start, is it did it start two years ago or more than that? Uh, it was actually uh, around four years ago, but uh, uh, it has only started to worry me around two years back. Okay, fine. And is it increasing by time? Is it getting worse or getting better? Yes, yes, it's, it's getting, getting worse. worse. Okay. Yes. And how is your mobility like with this pain? How are you coping with that? It's quite a long time, isn't it? Uh, yes, initially I was doing fine, but ever since the past few months, it has been quite difficult to for me to climb stairs and yeah. uh, do my daily activities. Okay, and do you have anybody to help you at home at all? Uh, yes, I have a wife. Okay, that's that's really reassuring. Also, have you tried anything for the pain? Do you take any painkillers at all? Uh, yes, I did take some painkillers, but uh, ever since I've attended my orthopedic surgeon, yes. uh, he has told me that I require a, a total hip replacement for the pain to go away. Yeah, of course. So, so the plan is made up for you that you will need to go for surgery. Uh, and the, the reason why you're here today, so to ask you further question about your general health, to make sure that you're going to be fit for surgery. So can I just ask, do you have any problem with your heart at all? Uh, yes, I uh, had a, uh, I had a heart disease when I was a little kid, and I don't remember what it is, what it was, but I had a valve replacement. You had valve uh, so replacement. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Do you know what type of valve is it? Is it noisy or or not noisy at all? Mm, I'm not quite sure. Okay, so you don't know by any chance if it's a mechanical valve or a normal valve or like a tissue valve. You don't know that. Oh, oh yes, yes, it's a mechanical valve. Mechanical. But do you take any blood thinning for that? Yes, I do. I'm on warfarin. Warfarin. And uh, okay, what what is the uh, when, when when was the last time that you had your warfarin? Oh, I have been taking it regularly. I okay. took it today as well. Okay, that's fine. And also, um. Do you get it checked by doing the INR by your GP or not? Uh, yes, my GP gets an INR done uh, okay. two weekly and he checks whether the dosage is right and all that. So just to check on your heart as well, do you ever suffer from shortness of breath or maybe chest pain at any time at all? Uh, no, uh, no that's I've been good. fine. And how many pillows do you use to sleep on? Is it just one pillow, more than one pillow? Uh, just one pillow. Okay, excellent. And also, do you have any problems with your lung at all or any disease with your lung? Uh, no, I've been fine. Okay, fine. Any any problem with your kidney? Uh, I have been going to the toilet at night a uh, little bit more than I usually mm -hmm. do, but other than that, it's been fine. Okay. Do you take any medication that can, that can make you go to the toilet? Like... A diuretic, if you hear this term, this term before. Uh, no, I'm not quite sure about that. OK, sorry. That's fine. That's fine. No problem at all. Um, and also, have you ever I'm sorry to ask, but this is just for understanding. Have you ever had a stroke before anything with uh, pain or, or not? Uh, no, thankfully, nothing okay. of that sort. That's really reassuring. OK, and also you, you don't do you take any other medication apart from the warfarin that you told me about? Oh, yes, I take uh, metformin for my diabetes. OK. Anything else? Uh, no, that's all. OK. 
you don't take any blood pressure tablet or something like that? No, just a blood thinness. And apart from the diabetes and your heart, have you ever had any other medical condition? Uh, no, nothing like that. Thankfully. Have you, apart from your surgery that you had, have you ever had any other surgery? Uh, I had uh, a skin tumor removed from my nose. I don't remember. It was something like a basal cell carcinoma. I'm not okay. quite sure. Fine. That's fine. That's reassuring. Also, um, we're going to ask about your anesthetics that you had before. I assume for the heart you had general anesthesia. Is that correct? Uh, yes, I was put to sleep. Okay, fine. Um, and also, you did not have any problem from the anesthetic that you had or when you put to sleep. Is that correct? Uh, I was in the ICU for around, I think, two days. I woke up uh, two days after the surgery. Okay. Were you told why you were in ICU? Is it because of the surgery itself or is it a complication from the surgery? Uh, I think I was told that uh, I had uh, trouble breathing on my own, so that is why mm. they had to keep that tube in. Okay. Thanks for sharing this with me. It's really important to plan your surgery in that sense. Okay. So you said that you have someone at home to look after you. Who, who do you live with at home? I live with my wife. Okay, that's reassuring. And also just the routine questions before surgery. Do you smoke at all? Uh, no, I don't smoke. Okay, and do you drink? Uh, no. Okay, that's reassuring. All right, so so I've, I've got everything that I need from you and we'll, we'll, we'll plan it from there. But do you have anything that you could have missed that you would like to tell me? Uh, no, that would be all. Thank you. Okay. That, that that's fine. So now I'm going to speak with my examiner. So um, um, I um, saw today a male patient coming for a preoperative assistant for total hip replacement. He had hip pain um, that started more than two years ago, has been increasing with time and uh, got, got worse and he was planned for surgery. He has past medical history of a heart disease and valve replacement um, that was done uh, for him and is currently on warfarin uh, uh, anticoagulant dose. Um, uh, that's for uh, the heart valve, and he takes it regularly. Also, he lives with his wife. He takes other medications such as metformin, his diabetic. He doesn't have any past medical history, any other past medical history. If not, past surgical history includes the valve replacement and also a removal of basal cell carcinoma. Um, following his valve surgery, he had to go to ICU uh, because he suffered from shortness of breath, and I would like to explore this first. If I had more time, I would ask my patient more questions uh, about uh, the um, the surgery that he had before, and I will definitely counsel him about the warfarin that we need to store the warfarin before the surgery as well. Um, I would also get uh, investigation as preparation for surgery. Okay, what are the investigations would you like to do? So, so as a first thing, bedside, I would like to get set up observation for the patient. I'd like to get an ECG and urine dip as well. And in terms of bloods, I'll get an FPC and CRP as a baseline, LFT and UNE, because the patient mentioned that he goes to the toilet quite frequently. Uh, I would also um, get all the preoperative bloods, including the group and screen coagulation profile and also cross matching because the patient is currently in warfarin. I will need to include the INR in my bloods as well. Um, that would be the bloods I'll get for the patient. Imaging wise, um, I might consider uh, um, echocardiogram for the patient before the surgery. If it doesn't have any recent echo, maybe for the last three months, I will consider having a new echo before moving on to the surgery. I might get a chest x-ray because he suffered from shortness of breath before, so I, I, it will be a baseline investigation uh, just in case if I might get pulmonary edema on admission with fluid overload. I'll document clearly in the notes that he's at risk of fluid overload. And also um, the other routine bloods before surgery will be the COVID-19 or the SARS and also the MS, the uh, mesocellular resistant, the MRSA.